Hi, this is Daisy with Daisy Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage data usage on Instagram. Last week, I went on over how to manage hidden words on Instagram. This week, we're going to stay with the same subject, and we're going to jump on and find a new thing on here, which is how to manage data usage on your Instagram app. This is inside the Instagram app. This is the how you can save data from being used so much by this app um, and it's really helpful especially if you don't want to if you're like on a mobile planet you can only use so many minutes like one is like one gig a month wait you, you don't want to suck that up I'm gonna show you actually how to save the data using the Instagram app itself so before we get going hit the like on this video it really helps out our channel also hit the um, subscribe notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every Thursday all right what are we gonna do first thing you want to do obviously is you want to go find your app so I'm gonna go back out here and we're gonna open my Instagram app which is right here you're gonna tap on Instagram and it's gonna pop up it's gonna go right here the first screen and then what you want to do is look to the bottom right look for your profile image when you're on the home screen and tap on it this will take you to your profile um, just move it a little bit. The uh, lines at the top will come up. So up here at the very top, you're looking for up to the right. You're looking for the little hamburger uh, menu link and tap on that. Once you do that, you're going to be in the settings and activity area. And then you're going to look down this list until you get to the section called. Once I get down there, I'll tell you what it's called. We're almost there, I swear. Okay, oh, here we go. Your app and media, that's what we want. So you're gonna look down this list, this menu, and you're gonna look for data usage and media quality. That's right here, you're gonna tap on it. And that pulls up the cellular data settings. That's the um, title on this. This is what we're looking for. So first you get, you know, use less data. That's what we're trying to do. So this first one is called data saver. Now normally this might be off on yours. Uh, you, you want to turn it on here in a minute. When data saver is turned on, videos won't load in advance to help you use less data. So it's not going to be uh, preloading everything, which is kind of takes a lot of data to do that. You can turn it on, tap the little switch, because it gives you the next option, which is what we want. And it says high resolution media. You're going to tap on that right there and it's going to pull this up high resolution media you can say never use high resolution media wi-fi only or cellular and wi-fi i like to keep it on wi-fi that way i don't use my cellular data that much so you can choose what you want but i say we need to um choose the the wi-fi is the best one if you want to save on your data so you can select a different one you go boop just hit the circles on the right now i'm going to choose wi-fi only you can go back and now if you move down the list, so this can't be selected unless this is tapped on, just FY. You look down, you have media upload quality. Upload at highest quality. Um, always upload the highest quality photos and videos, even if uploading takes longer. When this is off, we'll automatically adjust upload quality to fit network conditions, which is actually what you want to do because it's going to do it the better. But we're on Wi-Fi. You could probably turn that on and make it the higher quality, but... We don't, it doesn't, I usually have it off. I like to, to adjust to whatever um, the cellular data setting is set at, and that will actually save you data. So you don't have to use up all that mobile data. You know, if you have a limit, it's important. Some of us don't have limits, but some of us need to be on a, we're on a budget, so we don't want to do it that way. But that is how you can do that on your, you can manage data usage on your Instagram app, inside the app. It's that easy. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.